Please. All right, guys. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Camille top lane in the new patch. So what you want to run is Grasp. You want to take Shield Bash, Bone Plate, Overgrowth, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. Now, of course, along with the setup, you also want to take a Longsword. I do this specifically so I can get my item faster. And it also provides damage and pots. You know, having the three pots early is pretty nice to have. I'll show you why. So we're currently up against Quinn matchup. It's not necessarily a bad matchup. Like, Camille's actually insanely good into any kind of matchup that's ranged. Uh, because of the way how E works and your ultimate. But it's mostly more like scaling. It really depends on how Quinn plays it. Like, if Quinn is you know, terrible, it's going to be different. Oh, he's taking that early push. Sure. So he's taking, uh, he's going to stack up waves and he's possibly going to push that into me. Probably. We'll see. The trick against like ra like ranged champions like Quinn is to take it easy and simply wait for your power spike like level 3 and level 6. Nice. You always want to try to hit your uh, your W as much as possible. It's going to do that all the time. There's a lot of CS that we're going to have to drop so we can uh, so we don't take too much damage. If we go for some of the CS, that he will drop down multiple autos, and it's not going to be worth taking uh, taking for. Okay, now we can actually snowball. He's going to walk back. He knows I'm going to jump. So that's going to give us some bi uh, some bigger opportunities now. Is W here? There we go. So you just want to take it, uh, take it easy. Take it simple. This Quinn does have something we don't have. Uh, which is Splash. Like we do have TP. Which gives a pretty big difference. We can just TP back right now and have a super bad, like super massive advantage. But we gotta be careful how we approach. I'll just go back here. So what we're gonna do now is simply buy the Ruby Crystal, and I will also get two pots more with me. Usually I don't do that that quickly, but for now I will, due to the match of being like hard poking. We got him. I doubt that we can run from this one, but uh, we'll see. Hmm. Okay. We actually successfully ran from the Vi. <laughs> awesome. Let's get back once again. This time we're going to go for Phage. I can't really take any pots now because Vi came in on the exact moment I was going to fight Quinn. Like, as you could see right there, Quinn was pathing towards tower from this direction. I tried lining myself up very close to the wall right here. So, whenever he would use E, I would be able to use my E and then directly jump on him. And he would not be able to kick me like that far behind. So, I purposely like like uh, got myself here. Now, as for the build, we are going to run Define Sundra this game. Um, usually, I like to run Trinity Force into matchups like Quinn, because he's easy to kill. But we're going to go Define for Vi, Mordekaiser. Like, for both of these, like, Define is going to do great. So, you have, like, two builds that you can run. But it's completely situational to what you are up against. Nice. Got a perfect trade-off. Vice currently in mid lane. Now we simply wait. All we want is this wave to kind of fr just freeze out over here. Have it like slow push. Put the W. So you can kind of tell like Camille, it does not only like shred down bruisers like Everyone knows now. But Camille also shreds down like any kind of matchup that's ranged. Uh, just by simply standing on near like a wall. I bet he's going to reset. Yeah. 
He's gonna reset. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't buy my Sheen yet. But, uh... We will come back with another Ruby Crystal. And I'll just buy, like, one more pot and get a ward. Uh, usually... I gotta mention this. Uh, usually, I like to get my revealable a lot more early. Like, we actually get a revealable at, like, six minutes. It's still worth buying. Because we the, the two pots will give us HP for now and for the next round. But usually, I try to get it earlier. But because of the gank from, from Vi... Uh... We couldn't get it earlier. Like the timings of my of, of the amount of gold I had wasn't worth so far. Now we're gonna wait here. We're going to wait for Quinn to move up to me. We're gonna be uh, freezing it for as long as we can. Keep in mind, Quinn is a champion designed to win early game. It's a champion designed to like counter top laners. But it's funny, you you see like Quinn is actually walking backwards. Like Quinn can't play the game anymore because when he comes close to me, we'll kill him instantly. Like a champion supposed to counter is actually like uh, trying to roam now because he has no more option. So. There's no need to worry. Like Quinn... She can roam if she wants. Ultimately, she just keeps losing farm now. Even if she gets kills in mid lane, in bot lane, whatever. Whatever happens, um, it's still favorable for us. Because she's losing everything, as you can see. Oh, actually missed that. We're going to ensure that Quinn is going to lose this wave here as well. We're not going to touch it at all. But we do have to let my team know that Quinn is still missing. Awesome. We are going to freeze this by dragging it a little bit. Quinn is back top now. I'm going to start pinging because we can actually kill Quinn. Got my R for this. Here we go. Look at this. We're level 7. This guy's level 6. Look. She still cannot play the laning phase out. Ooh, she lost the cannon as well. You see that? We're about to reach level 8 very soon. In terms of farm, we are now like 20 cents ahead of this guy. It's about to grow much bigger soon. I think that Vi might be here. She might be here. Gotta be careful. There we go. We're going to get our TP back in like 40 as well. So we can start snowballing soon too. Now we will hard push because there's no reason to freeze. Especially now that Quinn is trying to roam. Uh, roam down to mid. We'll try to get things going. Here we go. Quinn has been getting kills. I'm not very happy with this. Also, apparently Vi is top lane now. Let's go back. So now we go for Sheen. We'll take the Kendall Gem. And we'll take another ward. And this is going to be the turning point. This is where we actually start snowballing. Because now we have... Uh, we got Sheen. Gives us a, a lot of damage with Kendall Gem. Which is ability haste, right? Um, we have the wave pushing towards us. So we can use that to freeze it. And wait for Quinn to move up. So. We're also uh, going to reach level 9 soon. We have like a massive wave stack in here. And it appears that Quinn is going to roam again. I, I'm kind of. I'm kind of hoping she's going to roam. You know. The more that Quinn roams right now. The more. The harder I win. Like the more I can push my lead to. You hold the wave like this. Just got to keep freezing. Got to keep getting the advantage we can. Sometimes we got to make sure that Quinn is going to lose this wave right here. So she falls behind even more. 
He actually starts roaming exactly like the way how he wanted to. She's trying to roam down to bot lane. My team should be able to see that right now. So we're going to once again drag down the wave. You might think like we can push, right? But the problem is that Camille does not have good wave clear. Oh, wait, I accidentally messed it up. There we go. She went roaming. She fell pretty hard. She's playing the roaming game. She knows that she is losing the lane against me. She knows that she doesn't stand a chance against Camille right now, right? So she tries to roam, except it's just not working for her. Here we go. Let's make a play. We'll see if we can kill this guy. Oh. Oh, sure. And that's where he dies. Yep. Now we go back to base. I'm kind of hoping for... Well, never mind, actually. This is good. So this is where the game is completely won okay it might not look like it you guys might be laughing and like be like well what are you saying right it's like 11 it's like 9 to 11 right the thing is i'm not kidding guys camille into this team comp is super op right we already have a lead as you can tell we have two kills you know farming wise is not the best but we are in a favorable matchup you know we've had we have to lead what exactly what we're looking for we have to find Sunner as well into a matchup, which is pretty annoying. Look at that. That's like one Q alone. She's like forced to go back now. If she doesn't go back here, then she's trolling. So I'm going to kill her. I hope we can uh, get some plates. Here we go. Now we can get like multiple plates. We know that Vi is currently bot lane, so. Nice. Get my W off. Now we just wait for the next wave to arrive. All we need right now is the team add and we can start the game. Just push this as well. We, we, we do not want to give Quinn the, the ability to roam. So that's being pushed. We're going to back off. And what we buy now will be this. Like Camille has one weakness. And that is clear. Like, Camille has some pretty awful wave clear. And if you go for Tiamat, you basically fix that problem, so. She will probably pass through. Oh, flashing over. And actually died to him. Wow. And there's a vibe behind me. Hold on a second. Okay, she's still there. Sure. Okay. Fortunately, we do not get to kill Quinn. In fact, he even got my uh, my Joner. This guy is like randomly jumping at this point. I got you. This guy's a red buff. He's got no mana. I'll kill him. Yep. I got you. So now we are 4 now. Like, this is where things become fun. Now we just keep pushing. Keep the snowball run running. Like I said, it's just a matter of time. Like, the more kills we get, the harder we snowball now. The further this game goes, the better. You know? Get this tower away. 
I want to try to get like one more wave actually. But Vice coming, never mind. Okay, we got TM map. Now is the now the fun actually begins. We go for the city boots. We take another long sword. Let's go down bot lane and we'll see if we can kill Draven now. Oh, he's running this way. All I need right now is my ultimate and having a gen out right next to me, and that's it. Should be enough. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's vision here, so they're not going to continue pushing when I'm standing here. I know that I'm I'm fully aware of that. We have team at now, so we can actually push insanely fast now. Oh, we've been missing some farm. I got my TP in five seconds. There's this massive fight here, but I think my team will be alright. Look at the map, guys. Look. So, literally the only job we have to do now is literally pushing bot lane and that's it. Like that alone is going to make us win the game. That's a massive team fighter going to appear here. My teammates are like grouping around them. I'm going to flank them from behind or we're about to get some free kills here. I got you. Cancel that. Canceling the Mordekaiser ultimate so he doesn't actually land it on us. They're going to pass through. Or, yeah, they actually got some vision. Never mind, the Quinn gave vision. Uh, we can try to kill that, but never mind. Got some push from this guy. The uh, Drake is alive right now. Draven might be coming down to Drake. Possibly. We can stop him from, uh, from trying to go for it. In fact, I, I think we could probably walk to Quinn. Maybe kill him before he can knock us back. Maybe. I, th I think... Okay, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, that's that's Quinn life right there, guys. Quinn can always see you, like, with his ability. So, this guy will always know. Soon, we will have Hydra. And the next item we get afterwards will probably be uh, something like a death sense. Probably. I want to get my Hydro now, actually. So we got TP now. We're going to TP right behind this. I'll take out Vi here. I'll take a Ward as well. Uh, Maybe there's a blue buff. Yep. Oh, I actually wanted to get the one for myself, actually, because I'm spamming, like, everything like crazy. Uh, it's okay, though. Like, this this Vax needs it, too. He said more than I do, actually. But I always like it when I get a blue buff as Camille so I can spam everything. You know, taking camps easily and stuff. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. This guy's dead. Yep. Let's go. That's a Vi here. Chance are high. Ooh, thank goodness we're actually getting away. I mean, we could sustain ourselves up with Hydra, although uh, there's nothing to take. Like, I would have actually decided to stay here if I could get, like, this camp and maybe this camp and the other ones.
He's dead. Well, you're both dead. That's also Vine Balan. Wait. This guy's also dead. I got my E again like three seconds. Okay, yep. See you later. <laughs> That's also Quinn right here, man. This, these guys are like all over the place. He's trying to chase down the, the chin. Wait, he's going that way? Are you kidding? He should be somewhere. Oh, he actually ran that way. Yeah, nice try, Rengar. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice try. That was my kill. So, now we go for Death Dance. And after Death Dance, your next item will be the pickaxe. Uh, I mean, yeah, Death Dance into Guardian's Angel. And then you get a Starx Gauge as the final item. So, the only difference between, like, Camille builds is, um, is Define Sunner and, and Trinity Force. Like, that makes the entire difference. Like, as for all the other items, you build the same stuff every single time. No camp here anymore, they took it actually. Oh, completely stuck. Wow, I couldn't jump anymore because I was being stuck by, uh, because of Yumi. <laughs> Wow, but that guy runs so fast. He uses Draven used his um his speed, his W, and combined it together with Yumi speed. He runs like 1,000 miles per second, and the fact that Yumi can press R and basically stop you from uh from running, especially on a Camille E, like you're literally stuck on a Camille E when when you get CC'd by Yumi. That is so OP, man. I'm gonna lie. Yumi in itself is such an OP champ. Like the fact that you can stick to Drave and stuff like that. I'll TP this one. We're gonna hard push. Hey Dave, you're making this game look so easy. I <laughs> love the content, man. Hey, no problem, man. No problem. this guy there's someone coming here wait that was focusing me Quinn is currently in mid yep not happening this time yeah nice not try not even my full team is here, actually. Yep, seems like... Uh, it seems like the enemy team has also given up on the game as well, apparently. <laughs> so typical. <laughs> Either way, guys, this is Camille Top Lane. Now, before today's YouTube video ends... Same thing as always, guys. I stream every single day. There will be a link inside the description. Make sure to check it out. Even this game is being played live. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.